guys, my name is Annette from Aussie Reborn Supplies. Today I'm going to do a video on how you can fix a Reborn Sculpt that has gone a little bit out of shape. So this is for an unpainted Reborn Sculpt. Um, so let's work out what we need to do to, to fix that. Okay, so we all know sometimes we get um, inundated with Reborn Sculpts that we actually love, absolutely love, and we put them into like plastic containers or somewhere around the house. And sometimes if there's too many on top of each other or something, generally we put something on it, um, over time the vinyl gets squished. Now I've got one that I've previously got here. This is a Clyde Awake. And as you can say, he see, he is really... Yeah, he's got a problem with his head so much. Um, his limbs seem all okay. Um, nothing is squished there, which is really good. So it's really just the head I need to work on. Uh, but what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to fix that, resolve it. Now, I can push it out from the center, but it's always going to have that misshaped look to it. So what we're going to do is make little quite awake. Uh, look like new again. Let's go to it. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a, obviously an at-home stove, stove, stove top, um, a nice big saucepan, um, very big if we can help it. Uh, in that saucepan, I'll just grab you over there for a moment, we've got a couple of inches of water in there, just a couple inches. This is not boiling yet so that goes about up to my finger level there, up to my mid finger. So just about one to two inches. Obviously you need to put your um, saucepan on. So just put your stove on, obviously. I've put it up, I'm going to put it up to the highest. So yes, I've got it up to number nine. Um, that's just so we can bring it up to a boiling, steaming sort of level. Here I've got a plain white cloth nappy. Now, let me, let me, let me hugely tell you this, unless you want to do it. I've done this before where I have used a checkered tea towel. Now, it's good if you're just doing it very quickly, but if you leave the baby to um, boil, steam in there for too long, um, these little checkers actually come out on the head, which is kind of like mottling. It actually kind of looks kind of cute, um, but it, it does, it will die and affect your, your baby. So please make sure that you are using something plain and this white cloth nappy is great. <clears throat> now we've got some um, clips here, just your tip, typical little, I think they're called alligator clips. So put the cloth over the top. Don't worry about... I mean, I mean, obviously, if you've got a gas stove, be very, very careful. Um, but if you've just got a normal stove, you should be fine with this. Um, I normally put the um, centre down until it just hits the water, till it's sort of like about that much, like a, about the size of a baby's head um, shape in the water. And then just clip all of the nappy. Well, mine's a cloth nappy, but clip it up so um, it stays in place. Obviously, we don't want it hitting on the bottom on the element, on the heated element, because we don't want to set the house on fire. So make sure <clears throat> that if you're a child, <clears throat> you're not doing this. <clears throat> Sorry, that you get some adult supervision. But it's it's fairly safe. Obviously, it depends on your stove top, really. So if we get all that up. I can sort of put that up like that, and that's all out of the way as well. Use this big one to clip this. Okay, so what we're going to do at this moment is just let it come to a boil. Okay, so it's all about the heating. That's what we're working on here. So let's wait till it comes to a boil. Okay, so it's starting to boil up now. Everything's going well. So I'm going to put um, the baby, the main, the problem side, sort of side down. And basically what that is going to do now is just um, steam away. The, hit, the, the kit itself is going to warm up just like it would if you were heat set painting. And um, as it warms up, it, got, it sort of bounces back into shape, if you know what I mean. Now, like I said, with the limbs, 
um, there's no need for me to actually put them in they're not squished but if you have a limb that's sort of like it's sort of squished like that it will pop back into shape um, they're nice and clean as well um, this is also a good idea for when you're cleaning a kit if it does have you know some dusty stains on it or anything like that you can do this you just have to make sure that when it's all completed and and it's clean and everything um, that you put it out um, to dry properly you need to make sure all of the water is out from the internals otherwise you will get some mold appearing in the future so let's see how this goes let's do a little bit of a time lapse Okay, so as you can see, we are steaming away here. So it's literally just steaming in there. Um, and I think it's ready to come out. Now, as in time-wise, it's probably been in there for around 10 minutes. Um, of course, you know, always stay around it, keeping an eye on everything. Um, as you would have seen in the hyperlapse that I just did, um, I kept turning the kit constantly um, so it wasn't staying on its same sort of axis all the time so let's get it out and see uh, where we're at I'm just going to get something to hold with so just get a tea towel and remember um, obviously um, when I pick this up there is boiling water there um, so you need to let it drip out a little bit if it gets on you, it's going to scald you and burn you and I don't want to be responsible for that at all. So make sure, even if you're really unsure, you can, you know, quickly get it out and put it on a, a plate or something just to let it cool before you touch it. So I'm just going to let all that come out first. It's very squishy still. So as you can see, little Clyde Awake is looking a lot better than he did before and definitely um, at a stage where we could reborn and um, you would never know that he had any problems. You will see he has some slight, sort of a slight bump there, but I think that actually was in the kit to begin with. It has that, oh, sorry, it has that soft spot there. Um, so that's what that's all about. So I'm really, really happy with the way that the shape has come back into to mold. Let me just turn this off here. And like I said, you can do that with all the limbs. Um, if you've got a bigger baby, um, I have actually in this pot before, I have done a tibby head that was really crushed. Um, so it fit in there okay. The legs are obviously longer. So what you would do is you literally just maybe have to stand by and hold it for a little bit, letting the steam work around it. Um, you, with the bigger ones, you might just have to be more present. Uh, but like I said, I'm really happy with our little Clyde here and ready to reborn this little guy. Can't wait. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. Give me a thumbs up, even an applaud below if you want it. Don't forget, you can join our new memberships on Miracle Babies Nursery and become a part of our little family here. Thank you so much for joining us today and we'll see you for our next tutorial. Bye, guys.